Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. In this video, we are going to have a look on heavy gear that have different kinds of war types on them. And what I mean by this is, if you have a perk like Ancient Ward for instance, that provide a percentage damage absorption against Ancient Guardian enemy types. And uh, this can be very good to have to different kinds of content like playing expeditions or mutations. Having a full set of gear that will absorb almost up to 25% of the damage can be very huge. And uh, most of these items will be from the open world so you can start to farm them right away. Before we start, just a quick reminder to like the video and also subscribe to the channel to show your support. And with that said, let's jump into it. So quickly going over the different types of ward perks that we are going to be focusing on. And we have five different ward types as of now if you don't include refreshing ward. So the first one is going to be ancient ward. And then the second one is angry earth. The third one corrupted ward. And the fourth beast ward. And lastly we have lost ward. And uh, all of these have damage absorptions to their respective enemy type. So let's start by going over the perk Ancient Ward. And the first two items is going to be a chest called Colossal Stormplate and Weighted Greaves. And this can be found from the boss Colossus of Cubai. And you will find him just outside the Great Shrine of Toth in uh, Brinestone. And uh, the chest not only got Ancient Ward but also Elemental Aberration and also Invigorated as well. And the legs got Invigorated. And it also have refreshing ward as well. Really good for tanks. The next item is going to be Castrum Crown of the Goat King. And this is dropped by Stubble the Goat King. To the northwest at Place of Pillars. And you will find him at the second floor. And you will need to do a jumping minigame to be able to get up there. Uh, if this is your first time here. And also don't be an idiot like myself and get knocked down. And this helm also have the perks Fiscal Aberration and also Refreshing Board. Uh, very nice tank helm overall. The boss also have a glove called Bouldering Gloves and also a shield called Headbutt. For the boots and the glove slots we have a set called Corrupted Rage. So this item is going to be a random drop from different enemies and bosses within Murkard. So these items have Constitution, Refreshing and Ancient Ward. And also the freedom perk on them. Depending on the expertise, these will be between a range of 500 to 600 gear score. Uh, if you get a low gear score, don't worry, you can always upgrade them uh, once your expertise is higher. And uh, we also have an additional boots here called the Bovines Boots. And uh, these have strength on them, refreshing evasion, ancient ward, and invigorated. And uh, of the looks of it, you can get them from different kinds of grave offerings, ancient chests, and stuff like that uh, inside of Primestone. Let's jump to Angry Earth Ward. And here we can start by taking a look at a helm called Crown of Sobek. This item can be dropped from Lord Sobek, who is located just south of Primestone City. The helm also have the perks Vigor and also Fiscal Aberration. And this boss has two additional items it can drop as well. First we have a chest called Royal Lagoon Chest Warps. And we also have a Great Axe Sobex Mighty Swipe. For the rest we want to take a look at the Harbinger set. And these items all have Constitution, Refreshing, Evigorated and lastly Angry Earth Ward. And here, same as the previous, depending on the expertise, this will be between a range of 500 to 600 gear score. And this can be dropped in different places for some reason. Uh, first, the helm and the boots from this set can be dropped by killing enemies and bosses at Siren Stand in Rakewater. The legs will drop by enemies and bosses at Eternal Pool, uh, which is also in Rakewater. And for some reason, the chest and the gloves can only be obtained by Scorchvine, Supply Guards and also Snipers at the Scorching Mine in Shattered Mountain. As a bonus, I would like to mention the Sprigbane set as well. The perks on these are very good, but the RNG for this to be with the right stat is kind of low. But nonetheless, it's possible to get them 
and you will have a chance of obtaining the set by defeating Sugaramet, which is a boss in the Eden Grove arena. And you also have a chance for this set to be a medium or a light gear as well. Next we have Corrupted Ward. And to start this off we got some legs called Graves of the Montcal. And uh, this can be obtained by farming Montcal of the shield. And this boss is located in Heliopolis on the west side platform in this area. And the legs other than the Corrupted Ward also have Freedom and also Elemental Aberration. You can also have a chance for the shield of Motocult to drop as well. Next we got Blacksmith's Memento and this is a glove from the Ross Primus Galba and he can be found just next to Mercury Shrine West in Brimestone. And these gaps also have the perk Elemental Aberration and also Indestructible. And this boss also have two additional drops that you could get, first being the Primus Axe and the second one is called Embroid Robe. We also have a set here that you can farm as well called Avenging and uh, this set got strength on it, also refreshing and corrupted ward and also corruption resist on them. And uh, this can be farmed by killing enemies and bosses as mangled heights and you can get all pieces here except for the gloves. The gloves on the other hand is obtained by killing enemies at the lower Svikin. Uh, it's uh, located just north in Great Cleave. The problem here though is that they cannot roll between the gear score of 500 to 600 due to the enemies not being level 60 or above. Not quite sure how we thought here, but according to the wiki, here is the place to farm it. Next up we have Beast Ward and here we got a helm called King of the Jungle and this drop from a boss called King Yurenga and is located just north of Brimstone City. This helm got Beast Ward, Resilient and also the refreshing perk. Other than that there isn't really any other heavy gear with the beast ward in the open world. The best thing here would be to craft your gear with the vial of wolf essence to get the perk from it instead. And uh, we do have one set that have the perk though and it is the mossborn set. And this same as the spring and bane set is from another arena in the eternal pool instead. And the boss you need to defeat is called Everace. The set pieces got Beast Ward and also Refreshing Ward which will be guaranteed. And uh, you will get a random perk at 600 gear score once you upgrade them. The last ward type is going to be Loss Ward. And here we have a very little love for the heavy type of gear. And uh, sadly it seems like it isn't any gear that you could farm in the open world at the moment. But there is one set that you can get called Raider. And this is obtained by doing the Spire of Melpomene Arena in Rayquarter uh, by defeating the Siren Queen. And here same as the other arenas, depending on your expertise there will be between a range of 500 to 600 gear score and it can drop as medium or light as well. Perks for this is Lost Ward, Refreshing Ward and also a random perk at 600 gear score. Alright everyone, so this was all different kinds of war types within New World. There are quite a bit to go over and plenty to farm, so go fetch your best luck here and gather your friends and happy grinding. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel to show your support. Comment down below if you know any other items that I missed so others can take part of them as well. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.